just updated to 180 acres. It forced the evacuation of 50 homes before being put out this evening. That blaze burning not far from the new Amazon building, shutting down powers at Milton Proby and forcing the cancellation of all departures through 650 tomorrow morning. KRDO News Channel 13, Spencer Soisher joins us live now. And Spencer, when it was all said and done, the sheriff's office took responsibility for starting that fire. Yeah, Bart, they did. A deputy was trying to drive through some tall grass, checking out what they thought was a suspicious vehicle. It turns out that deputy's catalytic converter ignited the flames that caused this mess. No homes burned. That deputy is okay, but it caused quite a scare for homeowners and was quite a headache for people over here at the airport. A 100-acre fire. Widespread evacuations. Neighbors watering their lawns, doing anything they could to save their house. All of this caused by an El Paso County Sheriff's deputy on a call for a suspicious vehicle. Upon doing so, that deputy became stuck um, in that grassy area. And um, after trying to get out of being stuck, the catalytic converter underneath the vehicle actually was what caused this fire. It caused a shelter in place at the Colorado Springs Airport. Disrupting travel to the point that about an hour into the ordeal, one airport shuttle just dropped people off at a nearby convenience store. And then for some reason, I shuttled this here to the 7-Eleven and we're waiting for my bus. So I don't know who's in charge, but it was a colossal mess. David Head is alive, but clearly not happy. It makes no sense. It was just ridiculous. But either way, I guess I'm alive, so that's good. He's here in the Springs from out of town, and he doesn't understand why this all happened. I, I don't know who's in charge. It, it's ridiculous. Who's making these decisions? As for the fire itself, it's laying down tonight. I don't want to call it contained because obviously we're going to be here for quite a while. There's a lot of open area that we have, but the bulk of the fire, the actual movement of the fire is done. As for that suspicious vehicle, it actually belonged to the person whose property it was parked on, though it was not registered. The El Paso County Sheriff's Office says that they're still investigating the situation that led up to this incident. Reporting live in Colorado Springs tonight, I'm Spencer Soisher for KRDO News Channel 13. Wow. Glad everyone is safe tonight. Spencer, thank you.